Right, let's play a game of where do you think the consumer unit is, right? This is probably like 20 years old, maybe. <clears throat> so it's a relatively new build. Not in the downstairs loo. Quite common to find them in the downstairs loo nearest the front of the house. Uh, not under not under the stairs cupboards, looked in all of them. Not in the lounge near all the front office. It's not in the kitchen. Okay, I eventually found it in the utility room, right up in this little cupboard. They put them in some bizarre places nowadays. <laughs> uh, found it anyway. I've come to do a couple of little checks because they've got some intermittent tripping on this uh, RCD. So have a little look around, a couple of quick checks, get my leakage meter out, see what we can do. Classic PV guys have been in. <laughs> So the guys left some stickers. What do you reckon it's inside? I haven't looked at it yet. I've just unscrewed it. Tembe. Um, don't come across that very often. And it is 20, I was close, 2000. So it's 23 years old. What do you reckon? Good or bad? I reckon it'll be all right. As long as it hasn't been messed about with too much. Obviously the solar guys lash theirs in. Let's get my um yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <clears throat> it's not the worst, not the best. The solar guys have done a nice job. That looks like has to be a firefly cleats in. Metal cleats up the wall. It looks like they've, like they've, has, they've had air conditioning installed as well recently. Might be one of the reasons. Hmm. Why well, it's tripping, perhaps. Never know. So let's go and have a look. <clears throat> so I've just, I, I took the cover off. Don't know why actually. I was intrigued more than anything to see what the solar guys had done. Let's, um, have a look first. So the client's saying that it's tripping randomly, intermi intermittently. They've had a new cooker. However, the cooker isn't on the RCD side of the board. It's actually the first circuit on the, there, on the non-RCD side. It started happening when we had the cooker installed. Well, it's clearly not the cooker because it's not on the RCD um, at the moment. They've had new air conditioning installed, which is on a plug top. Now, I don't know if they have the air conditioning on every time. It seems to be happening happening randomly, is how they describe it to me. So, first things first, they're not actually home at the moment, which is why it took me a while to find the fuse board. But let's have a look what the current um, leakage is. With no one here, nothing's on. Let's uh, put this on, see what we get. So we're looking for, we know, before I do it, we know that 30 million power CDs, you know, they can, I tend to see them trip at 25, even 21 milliamps, so we want to be nowhere near that really, especially if the client's actually not in, they're on, ho they're on holiday, so nothing's on, nothing's in. Let's see what we get. 20.1 milliamps. That is with, so no one is home, they left me a key, no one is home, nothing's on that I'm aware of. The solar is on the RCD side. So we've got 20 something point three milliamps. So it's only gonna take something little on the socket circuit to tick that over. I would do a ramp test perhaps on the RCD just to just to see where it's tripping out at. But let's let's have a look now. Man, I'm hungry. Mm. <laughs> right, let's go around to ramp test. 30 milliamps, yeah. Tricky to do this one-handed. Let's get my earth clamp on. Ooh. I'm very precariously wedged in between the, the washing machine and the, the back wall. Let's uh, have a look here. Let's do a ramp test. Where are we looking at? On the RCD and see where it's tripping. This is with everything on currently. See what we get. Oh, I'm gonna have to press test.
That was really quick. Couldn't even perform the test. Let's try again. Twenty-one. It just missed out. The one minute ran out. Um, I'll do it again to prove that's twenty-one milliamps. I'll just do it again for some reason. Let's try it one more time. Line. Yeah, neutral. I'll press test. Mm, Twenty-five milliamps. Well, the first time was twenty-one. The second time was 25, which was more what I'd expect. So one more time. 23. So I'm still, I'm erring on the side that it is accumulated earth leakage. Considering it's 20 something with nothing on, no one's home. Um, and ram testing at 21. Ram testing between 21 and 25 but that's all of this, solar, um, immersion, sockets up, sockets down, are all hanging off of this 130 milliamp RCD. And you saw outside, the leakage was 20 something. I mean, it probably won't be, uh, probably won't be that now, everything's gonna boot up and start up, but. Uh, <clears throat> we've got. Yes. Things are going to be booting up, I imagine, now and starting up. But at its highest point, when I first got it and clamped it on, it's 20 milliamps. And the single 6008 is tripping out between 21 and 25. I think this calls for an RCBO to split that leakage up across those four circuits to minimise the inconvenience of a fault when the RCD trips. If you haven't got one, there are cheaper alternatives and there are more expensive ones. I think this one was like 60 something quid or 70 quid. Get yourself one of these. They're dead handy for little little um, little jobs like this. Um, handyman, I don't even know. I'm not, familiar, I'm not familiar. Tech, I think is a... Tech 775 is the, the model, I think. Get yourself one of these. They are really handy. I've just proved there. I've been here, what? maybe 15 minutes, I had a little good look around just to check what was in, what was plugged on. Um, I'd look at the air conditioning, had a look at the solar, but pop this on the tails, 20 or something milliamps, and that was with no one home. Went in, ram tested between 21 and 25. I think that needs RCBOs. I think it's leakage more than anything else. Um, yeah, get yourself one of these. There you go, everything's uh, powered, started powering up, and we're sitting at 19.3 milliamps, right? We're sitting at with no one home, right? <laughs> one day I'm gonna get an office job. One day I'm gonna get an office job. I wonder perhaps if we turn these off, we'll find out where the leakage is or where the majority of it is. There's one, which is the, so it just doesn't say up or down, just says sockets. <clears throat> what we still have, 15. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Another set of sockets. <sighs> goodness me. 13. And then we're left with, I think, solar and immersion are left. So I imagine those two will probably be... The solar is probably going to be the biggest one. Oh, let me turn it off. <sighs> so I've just turned the solar off and I've left with two and a half milliamps left on solar and then last one is the immersion that one there oh. there might be some little bit left on the non-rcd protected side of the circuit oh yeah so so still two and a half milliamps the immersion made no difference so there's two and a half milliamps on the non-rcd side of the um of the consumer unit so there you go Have one of these, like I said, I've been here about 15 20 minutes. Ascertained, I think, 
the reason why it's randomly tripping or to them it's perceived as a nuisance trip uh, because it's just going off randomly there you know as they plug in things during the day and as they're working from home and stuff you know something's just tipped over the edge Whoa. So yeah, that's what I think it is. Um, it didn't have this problem. Like when I first started all, all those moons ago, I mean, to be honest, it's not that long ago, but we didn't, even back then, we didn't have many electronic devices. We didn't have much stuff um, hanging off of our RCDs. And we had single RCDs, then we had split loads. And obviously now RCBO protection is the best way forward. And that's what I'm gonna suggest to them to the, to the clients here to divide that leakage up it's all hanging off of that i've come across plenty of installs where i've done the icrs and this is you know um deteriorated due to so much hanging off of it um so yeah didn't used to have this problem but now we've loaded up our circuits with so much stuff and all this leakage yeah that's what i think it is quote sent in <laughs> having said that quote sent in I almost don't want the job because it's such a f awkward cupboard. Imagine that, that little that little cupboard all day. Uh, in fact, perhaps I'll sub it out. Anyone uh, anyone free to do a board change for me? <laughs> a little cupboard in Bristol. Give me a shout. 